Jimmy Johnson on track, and he's going it the old-fashioned way, right around the bottom. And he is Man, in the green. And this. This here we go. Lap, you got a new 54. pole sitter. Woo! That is stout. Now he started on the pole here before, but it was points. I don't think he's ever yes. qualified on the pole here. And of course, he won back here in the March race. But remember, Good job, turn in on the turn two, turn he's in had on the turn two. Top that was ten a starts in his last four, nine races. Five, four, P1, but buddy. he's only had one top ten finish yeah, in the last six. Second. Yeah, I mean, we've been able to qualify well lately. We just, uh, on the bigger tracks, have had a little trouble in the long run. And we recognize that. I know a lot of people have been talking about it, but there's a lot of time between now and the chase starts before the first mile and a half race comes along. And I think we have some good changes in store for our cars for those tracks. But today, uh, this Los and Paul has been awesome all day. And uh, once Chad and I can figure out where we need to work on a given racetrack, we seem to do pretty well with it. And the last two years, we've really been building what we work off of. And I've been looking for the right thing. Chad's been adjusting on the car. And um, the only question was top or bottom. And we worked so long on the bottom of the racetrack setting the car up for that, I couldn't see just changing at that point. Uh, so luckily it worked. The car was really, really loose. Um, and I'm glad it stuck. I ran a second lap because I wasn't sure that first lap was going to be, be all that fast. I was turning right in the majority of the corner and really couldn't commit to the throttle, but you know, I guess that old saying, loose is fast, and I hope it holds up.